In transporting modular homes to the site, you'll hear the term carriers. Carriers are what's used to transport not just modules, but ship loose items, or, or you would have parts carriers that come to the site. Across the country, this is very, very different. In many cases, you'll have a, what I, I would call I-beam assemblies, which are I, or I-beam carriers, where they have essentially mobile home axles, mobile home tires, and you'll have four, six, or eight axles on this I-beam assembly, which is very rigid, because you have to haul the modular home flat. It won't have a positive camber in it that, that you typically find in mobile home frames. The, once you move out of the Northeast, where they're doing using these I-beam carriers, you'll start finding a very, once you move out of the Northeast, you're gonna start seeing various carriers and how they're, they're used. Many times carriers aren't used just for transport, they're also used as a storage device. For example, in the Northeast where I was talking about I-beam carriers, most factory will own hundreds of I-beam carriers and they'll complete the home, deliver it to their yard, and store the homes on these carriers ready for transport. As you move to the Southeast, you're going to start seeing carriers that are usually going to be triple tandem axles and a lot of times what they call trombone or expandable carriers. In many cases, you'll have one carrier that can be 56 to 60 feet long, but they're not used for storage. They're only used for delivery. Most of those factories will have cribbing that they'll place in the yard, put the modules on this cribbing. The, these carriers are also hydraulic or air actuated so they can actually pick up. They'll take the carrier, the cribbing, or the, they'll take the module, they'll take the pull the cribbing out and drop the, car the carrier back down, attach the module to the carrier and, and send it out to the builder. As you move farther west, now the factory doesn't own carriers. The factory produces the modules, puts them in their yard, and you're engaging third-party transport companies who are not only providing the truck and a delivery service, they're actually providing the carrier themselves. And you're gonna see a lot of different carriers. You're gonna see custom carriers that these trucking companies have fabricated, and a lot of times they're gonna be very elaborate. Um, once the house is delivered, the carriers have to get back to the site. So going back to the Northeast, because the factory owns the carriers and owns so many of them, carriers are typically delivered to the site, possibly delivered on a Tuesday, and the house is going to be delivered hopefully, or set on that Wednesday, but that may not happen. In the Northeast, carriers are often used to be a storage device, and once the, not only storage, but once they're delivered, say for instance, we're delivering this on a Tuesday. Once it's delivered to the site, the intention is to set it on a Wednesday, but perhaps it rains. The factory's not hanging around to get their carriers back. They're leaving the carriers at the site, and maybe it's the following Tuesday or Wednesday. It could be the Wednesday or the Tuesday or Wednesday following that, that the home set. They'll typically include what they call return carrier freight in your overall freight bill, their estimate that they've given you. When they're in the area again, they will just call and ask if you set that home yet. Typically within two or three weeks, they'll come back and take the carriers that you're done with, pick them up and return them to the factory. But this also means that you're responsible for the carriers while you're, they're in your possession. And so you're going to have to make sure that they're out of the way once you're done with them and put them in a place that's easily accessible for the factory to, to uh, pick up and return. The, uh, if it's gonna be in the Southeast, then it's a unique carrier. Typically these carriers are stacked, just like the Northeast carriers. The carriers typically can be uh, are stacked and returned to the factory up to four, four carriers in height. And that's how carriers are used through the country.